Hello everybody, <laughs> it's Hyper here, and today we are reacting, as request my friend, Fallout Equestria. I've never played Fallout, but I want to. Dear Mr. P, how's it going in Equestria? In another world away, but Billy, you look so pretty, yes. Yeah, as as I guess, I'm definitely I am personally a pegasi, so... Zebra Nation. Though the princesses have yet to make a statement concerning the matter. May the souls of the murdered children at Little Horn rest well tonight. May Celestia. Excuse me. Luna. Have mercy upon us all. Hello. Vinyl, dear, how are you this evening? Octavia, what's up? Oh, Whoa. nothing really. I'm doing fine. Just fine. It's actually great that you're calling. I wanted to ask you something about a party I'm DJing. Well, final, actually... Now, I know my music isn't really your thing, but I've been asked to put together a playlist that would best fit the theme of the party. The problem is, the theme of the party is parties, so I've had a, a bit of trouble. Final. Because, you know, some parties are slow and a bummer, and others are upbeat and awesome. You think I should start out with some killer beats, but then slow it down with, like, Vinyl, some boring cello music? Vinyl, I'll take this time to talk to you. <laughs> oh... Okay, I did not mean that. Final! Oh, yeah, Tavy, what's up? Final, there's a reason why I'm calling you this time of night. Things seem to be getting worse. This tragedy with the zebras, it doesn't seem to be going away. I've been getting more and more concerned about it. And, look, we're the best of friends, are we not? <sighs> I want to make sure we can ride out this storm without having to worry so much. Oh, come on! It's gotten to you, too? This is nothing! We'll just throw a kick-ass rave and every pony will shake hooves and move on with their lives. Just like last Saturday when Starbolt and Candycorn had a little too much cider and brawled it out for a bit. This whole zebra thing will blow over in a few days, Tops. Nah, I don't Same think it will. Can you I don't know much about Fallout, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it went down. That doesn't work. You can just play your music for them and they'll all fall asleep. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder how we get along so well. Oh, Tavy, you say the sweetest stuff. Oh, I gotta go, setting up for a show. Just try and relax, okay? Wub ya! Wub, haha. HQ to Philadelphia HQ. Repeat, transmission from Maripony HQ to Philadelphia HQ. Respond at once. Maripony okay, says, I'm here. What the hell's going on down there? Oh, I love his voice. Captain, what the hell's going on down there? The main hat has been hit. 
Repeat, Manhattan has been hit by oh, Zebra Mega Spells. Well, damn it. Oh, damn, damn it. it. Well, I'll come to this then. After everything. It looks... It looks that way. Well, you know the protocol then. Uh, affirmative. Do we... Initiating retaliatory Mega Spell strikes against the Zebra Capital now. Oh, dear God. God this is not this. Roger that. Sir, we... We... Spit it out. What is it? We are also receiving reports of new inbound Mega Spell missiles, though the targets have yet to be properly determined. Oh. You mean you don't have a fucking clue where these are going? That's right, sir. Oh, no. Get a grip on yourself and keep tabs on the situation. We aren't getting... Philadelphia HQ, I didn't copy. Repeat. Philadelphia HQ, do you copy? Oh, goddesses. Oh no. Uh, oh no. This probably is good. Mother Clyde, it's Mother. I don't know what's going on, but please, get out of Kinterlot now. I can see it all the way from here. Yes. That giant cloud of pink stuff swirling around the city. I'm going down there to get you out right now. I don't care what it takes. The zebras will have to kill me twice before they'll stop me from getting to you. Hold on, Glitter. And get out of that city now. I love you so much, sweetheart. Oh, I hope she escaped. <coughs> Mommy? Oh, darling. Mommy, I'm scared. What do we do now? We take all the bad things, like we always do, dearest. <coughs> With a smile and a song. But, Mommy, <coughs> even for something like this, this is sad. Go on. Sing your favorite song for me. Is that a baby crying in the background? Please. For me. Okay, mommy. Hush now, quiet now. It's time to lay your sleepy head. Oh god. Mommy, are you? Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Poor little girl. Dear god. That sounded horrible. War. War never changes. The Principality of Equestria came into being as a great, prosperous nation under the guidance of Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. The ponies of this nation vowed to build the country together in the spirit of friendship and camaraderie. Peace Come pervaded Equestria for millennia under the princess's reign. But war never changes. War never changes. There came an era when the ideals of friendship gave way to greed, selfishness, Paranoia and a jealous reaping of dwindling space and natural resources. This is misunderstanding. Awesome. I, say it out. Tensions I want mounted. this game really bad now. Lands took up arms against their neighbors, and so the wars began. The land saturated with death and destruction, and death all and sides cried out for an end to the bloodbath. Blood. And end the wars did, in an abyss of balefire and dark magic. Mega spells rained from the skies. Entire lands were swallowed in flames and fell beneath the boiling oceans. Pony kind was almost extinguished, their spirits becoming part of the ambient radiation that blanketed the lands. A quiet darkness fell across the world. Quiet darkness. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, okay. the apocalypse was simply the prologue for another bloody chapter in pony history. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as stables. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. Uh, All except those in stable two. Stable for on two. that fateful day when spellfire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Stable 2 swung closed, 
and never reopened. Until the arrival oh. of Little Pip. Little Pip, who Little breaks Pip. free of Stable 2's confines and finds her way out into the poisoned land of Equestria. For better or for worse, the wastes are now her abode. This is her story. Life in the Equestrian Wasteland is about to change. To sing in my Batman's voice. In our Batman, I believe in justice. Fabulous. Radiation levels oh my god. Rads, as always. The stable has been accident free for, well, since the stable's beginning, it seems. Thank the Overmare for that one. Also, a quick reminder that your pit buck is not a toy. Proper cleaning and maintenance will ensure its operation for this and future generations. <sighs> now the story shifts to the bowels of Stable 2 in the maintenance halls, where our own little pip resides. Gray. So much gray. Gray here, gray there. Oh, and did I mention the gray? This wall needs a mural. I like gray. Aww. As she slams her head on the workbench in her frustration, another pony steps in, unbeknownst to Little Pip. Oh dear, is it really that bad? What? Velvet! Velvet Remedy, Stable 2's favorite music pony. Her melodious singing has gained her adoration from many of the stable residents, not the least of them Little Pip. And, in truth, Little Pip has been quite smitten with Velvet for a while now. No, no, uh, pull yourself together. Uh, what was it that Mom would always say? Little Pip, Velvet's barn door doesn't swing that way. Uh, it took me a few years to figure that one out. But, oh, goddesses, Velvet standing right here. All of her songs right here on my pet book, but, but, but the real deal is standing right in this room and... Uh, I want to hug her. Little Pip? Uh, uh, with you, uh, what? A wonderful response, Pip. So elegant. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I was a little out of it. Uh, could you repeat that? <laughs> oh, little Pip. She's smiling. Oh, this has got to be good. Yay, you smiling. so heartbroken when I came in. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, help? Velvet Remedy offered to help. Me! Yes! Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. Velvet Remedy must have some reason to be down here. Some pip buck reason. It's not like she'd go wandering around maintenance, after all. Not to mention my boss is asleep on the job. Again. Oh, uh, no, no, no. It, it, it was nothing. Are you certain? I do hate to see you unhappy. Oh, no, really, really, it was nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, uh, so, how, how may I, I be of assistance? Well, there is one thing. And what's that? My pit buck. Before this story progresses, you should know more about these pit bucks. Pit bucks, okay. What is a pit buck? A pit buck is a device, worn on the foreleg just above the hoof, issued to every pony in the stable when they become old enough to start work. Very cool. A blending of unicorn pony magic and science, a pip buck will keep a constant measure of your health and even help administer healing poultices and other medicine, track and organize everything in your saddle packs, assist in repairs, 
and keep all manner of notes and maps available at a hoof tap. In short, yet another manifestation of technology at its finest. I yeah. do hate to be a bother, but my pit buck has begun to shave a bit. Could you replace the padding? Oh, absolutely! I'll have it done quick! Oh, no, that's all right. Take your time. I'm going to put some salve on this leg back in my room and rest up for the afternoon. Oh, oh that's right. Your performance tomorrow, right? That's right. He sounds so wonderful on stage. I, I, I heard you on the radio just now. Oh, so you heard already one year. I do love that song. I really like it, too. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> anyway, I'll have this back to you by this time tomorrow. You won't be disappointed, I promise. Thank you. This means more to me than you can imagine. Wait, does oh, that mean... And she... little Pip? Y yes? Did she monitor? You have quite the cute blush. Has anyone told you that? Oh. Um, I... <laughs> barn door, Pip, barn door. <laughs> that, that's, and with that, that's little Pip turned but, back to but, her workbench, a good deal happier than she, she had been before speaking to Velvet. Can escape. Cue the morning. Little Pip trots through the stable hallways, Velvet's Pip Buck telekinetically floating beside her. <laughs> what she finds in the hallway is chaos. Luna damn gotta... paparazzi! How am I ever gonna push my way through this? Every pony move! Right. Oh, what's going on? She's gone! Gone? Who's gone? Velvet Remedy! She's left the stable! Velvet? Gone? Who oh, goddesses no! I didn't even know the stable door could open! The stable door? Open? She's gone outside? Ooh. Every pony! The Overmare, the head pony of Stable 2. She oversees all that happens in the stable and keeps all in order. Cool. Don't worry, every pony. I have the pit buck tag of each and every pony in the stable. I will personally send out a rescue party. We'll have our velvet back by the end of the day. Worry not. Pit buck tag? Oh, fuck me with Celestia's front hooves. <laughs> Hold it! Isn't that Velvet's Pip Buck in the maintenance pony's hooves right there? Little Pip? Yes, Overmare? What is this? The Pip Squeak let our Velvet get away. How could you? You monster! She's not a monster. Come Silence. on. Little Pip, take it and head to your room, swiftly. Little Pip obeys, rushing back to her room, Velvet's Pip Buck still in tow. Oh, how could I let this happen? Oh, it's not your fault. Why did you go? On the Pitbuck radio, the Overmare's reassuring voice is heard. We are all feeling this loss. But I want to remind every pony that Velvet Remedy chose to do this. She chose to leave her home, to abandon us, her family. She betrayed my trust and she betrayed yours. Just as she betrayed the trust of the pony who she tricked into removing her pit buck, ensuring we could not find her. I know many of you are angry or hurt. I urge you to direct that anger where it truly belongs. It is then that an encrypted file in Velvet's pit buck catches Little Pip's eye. What the? It's an audio recording. Maybe it's one of Velvet's new songs? The override code for opening the door to Stable 2 is CMC 3BFF. Ooh, open it. The Stable Door override code? Where did Velvet get this? And why? 
I'm not sure what's going on or why, Velvet, but I'm sure of what I'm going to do. The decision was made, there and then, to leave the stable and find Velvet. To leave the stable that no pony had ever left before. Go. Gotta go fast. Final check. Apples, water, extra stable barding, book of arcane sciences, all set and ready to go. Go, 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 go. The time arrives. Little Pip, with supplies on hoof and of set mind, faces the massive door that separates Stable 2 from the outside. What stands between Little Pip and the door's control panels are two Earth Pony guards. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, if, if you would let me by. This port is off limits. No exceptions. Here's hoping my little speech is good enough to get me through. I'm a certified Stable Tech Technician. The Overmare has specifically requested that I check that the stable door panel is working correctly. Um, uh... Didn't think so. Now beat it, Miss Wing. Oh. Apparently not. Time for plan B. Hey, aren't you the filly who let our Velva get lost outside anyway? Why, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm also the one who's gonna bring her back. Oh, Earth Ponies. They never see that levitating something up behind you trick coming. Well, um... Alright. Now to business. CMC 3BFF. Please work, please work, please work! Stop! I order you to stop this instant! Guards! I want every guard pony at Stable 2 door! Stop Go! Go, little pit. It's time. You don't have to do this, little pimp. Isn't it? Overmare. I'll bring her back. I promise. No, you won't. If you leave here, you'll never be let back in. That's it. Now or never. Go. Sorry I'm not talking much, I'm just really interested by this. With a hiss and a bang, Stable 2's door closes irrevocably behind Little Pip. Oh, I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> the hallway is filled with the skeletons of ponies that had died desperately trying to get into the stable, as the land of Equestria was burned alive. Oh god. Celestia's mercy. The light of the Pipbuck lamp reveals a cellar door that leads to the outside world. So the entrance to the outside is cleverly disguised as the door to a humble apple cellar, because the pony who had built it had been building an apple cellar. Sounds legit. And with that, Little Pip threw open the cellar door and took her first steps into the outside world. <laughs> What's wrong? Dark! Dark! Oh, it's so dark! I should have thought this through better! Somebody save me! Oh, okay. Okay, okay. G get a hold of yourself, Pip. You can do this. But why do I have to be alone? I hate being all alone. Oh. It's me from here on out. Go, little Pip. Is that it? Okay. Well, um, that was awesome. I'll probably watch the next episode. Now, I might go download Fallout now. And if I do, um, I might play it on a channel. Who knows? Okay. I will see you guys later. Um, see you next episode. Bye.